during this video we're going to look at one more type of graphic the animation going to just insert a new object and choose animation OK and now I'm going to click and as you as we saw before it brings up the file selector so now I'm going to choose uh, this supports animation files it will support GIF files, FLC files, FLI files, and AVI files. So this is a GIF file I have here. As you can see, we select it and we see a preview down here. We can see the the information here. And I'm going to press open. And this is an animated file. As you can see, it doesn't show it animated right here, but if we test our application then we can see that it is animated but it only animated through the sequence once but we can easily change that with the properties over here we can change these properties to loop and then that way it will animate over and over again we can hide the object at start and we can also skip frames skip f we can also choose to skip frames if a computer is too slow to display the animation file at the regular rate then it's asking if should it should it show all the frames at a slower rate or should it skip some of the frames so that it can stay at the same rate so if we have it checked then it's going to skip some of the frames and stay at the same rate if we uncheck it then it's going to play all the frames at a slower rate then we have our display options here we can see all our display options and then we have our size position options. I have our position options like usual. Then we have our movement. And then we have our runtime and our values and our behaviors and events and our name. I'm just going to change this to catch up. That's all for animation files.